I'm Amanda Wood, and I'm going to show you how to make this cool little elephant. Now, I've been working with Paltaya for a little over a year and a half, and let me tell you, this stuff is strong as rock, even before it's cured in water. Once you cure it in water, for anywhere from 5 days to 28 days, it's even stronger. This is crazy strong. I've never seen anything like it. To start, you're going to need some cardboard, a roll of tin foil, a hot glue gun, trial size bag of Paltaya, You'll need some rubber or nitrile gloves. You'll need a little trowel to smear it on with. You're gonna need a fork and a smoother. We took some cross sections of cardboard and sketched the shape that we wanted. And then we cut everything out and glued it together. And you see that there's a wire making up the trunk of the elephant. So we're gonna crumple up tin foil to make the mass fill out. You wanna fill in the mass and then uh, hot glue that down. And this, the part that's making up the trunk, the wire, has another small brass piece of wire wrapped around the aluminum because the aluminum will probably disintegrate with the paltaya. It has like a chemical reaction. And once this is all filled in and built, we'll take a solid sheet of tin foil, crumple it up, spread it back out, and then glue it down. You need the entire thing coated with tin foil so that the moisture from the clay doesn't soak into the cardboard. And the reason that we leave the tin foil crumpled is because this clay needs something to grab onto. It doesn't like to stand up on its own, so it needs to wrap around this armature and grip onto that crumpled tin foil texture. Otherwise, it might slump down. Now I'm mixing up my paltaya. I've got two cups of paltaya and a quarter cup of water. And I'm mixing it up in my old mixer. You don't want a nice fancy mixer to, to do this. So I've checked the consistency of the paltaya. It's nice and firm. I can roll it out without cracking. If it starts cracking, it doesn't have enough water. If it's too sloppy and kind of sticks to everything, that's too wet. You need to add a little bit more powder to it. So I rolled out a sheet in between. You can either use fabric mesh or some burlap. I like to roll it out for larger sections like this because then you end up with less seams and then there's less stuff you have to blend in. It just seems to save me a lot of work. So I laid the sheet down on the elephant and I'm smearing it around and, and polishing the texture out from the fabric that I rolled out with. So I'm still using the trowel, smearing things around, and it's nice to have that little square of cardboard at the bottom covered with tin foil, that little extra piece that you see at the bottom because that gives it a way to stand up. This thing gets pretty top heavy and can fall over. So here I am, I'm rolling it out again between two sheets of uh, like a rough burlap. It's more like a mesh and I'm laying it on didn't quite get enough to fill in the whole area like I thought, so I'm just going to grab some little pieces and smush them in, fill it out, and these will just be seams that I'll have to blend in with my fingers. It works better to blend it in with my fingers, that way I can kind of get it fused because when I go over it too much with the tools, it separates, it doesn't really, it just doesn't really join them as well as I would like. So using my finger to blend everything and then going over with this trowel seems to be the best thing for me, but everyone will have their own way of working. As you work with this stuff, it takes some practice, but as you work with it, you'll find your own way. So I'm blending and smoothing here, and you can see I can get a really nice, shiny, polished, smooth finish. This is another little spatula, and I'll also have a link to this in uh, the section down below and on my website. So I let it set up overnight because it's difficult to work around it without messing up the, the soft clay that you just applied. So I let it set overnight, and I left a forked line kind of a rough texture for me to attach this stuff to, kind of like a zipper. And anytime you're gonna let something set up overnight or for any length of time, 
you're going to want to leave that forked edge so that you can then attach more paltaya to it. So you would just dampen that little forked edge a little bit. Don't let it get too wet so it's got standing water in it. You want to kind of dab that off if you have standing water. But that gives you a nice prepared surface to get this stuff to stick to because if it's not damp, the fresh clay that you apply won't want to adhere and it'll want to just pull away. So if there's moisture, it'll stick to it. Here's one of the coolest things about this product. As long as you've left that edge forked, you can keep adding to the old paltite, even if it's all dried out and you haven't touched it in a year. <laughs> you can keep adding more paltite to it and it just fuses to itself. Smooth all of this in and you keep adding. You wanna make sure the tin foil is not sticking out from underneath the clay as you apply it. And here you can see with one of these, I'm letting it set overnight because it's pretty much where I want it now and I'm gonna let it set overnight under plastic. And here we are the next day. I'm doing any sanding and buffing to kind of blend in some of those seams. Sometimes it's hard to cover up those seams. So it's sanded and ready to go. I'm wrapping it in wet paper towels and we're gonna let it soak for a good five days and that gets it to its optimal strength. Now if you were gonna put this outdoors or make something large enough to climb on, you would want to soak it for longer, up to three weeks. And I'm stuffing some extra uh, paper in there to make contact under the underside of the trunk and the neck. So it sat five days. We're unwrapping now. And it's a good thing that I filed and sanded him before I soaked him because the paltaya is really hard now, like a stone. We painted him in a good exterior grade house paint. That way he's got a nice finish to be able to go outside with. That's it for the elephant. You can find links for where to buy all of these items down below. If you like this video, please like and subscribe.